the exclusive stats from the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. You can see them as well on volleyballworld.com. Get your fill of the numbers. I'm more of an emotions kind of player. I just want to see who's out there and what they're giving in the moment. But if you want to dig deep, go and head over to Volleyball World. This is the decider. Five set matches every night. But it's good to see the fifth set. As, a, as the decider. Wow, first point. Error in the serve on a football. We haven't seen that yet, have we? Yeah, maybe there's a sign of, of pressure here leaking in because, I mean, that's not just by a millimeter or two. That's almost half or a full foot. And that's what pressure does. It makes your mind think in funny ways. Silly mistakes can creep in. Let me just say, the team that makes fewer mistakes, stays calm, will take it away. Two points up for grabs. The score is going to be 3-2 for whoever wins it. This is the decider. The fifth and final set, that's what you want more of. That is a 10 on 10 from number 10. Look, we talk about aggressive intent from the service line. If you serve buffet balls, the other team will help themselves. It's a free ball. The pass is perfect. Rupe contact the shot. But you've got to up the service pressure. That is a Rupe contactless shot from Rohit. Great execution. Such finesse. Such a clean hit that was. He knew what he was doing. Thought about it. Went for it. Got it right. One on one as well. Credit to the setter. We got to keep giving it to him. Anytime you get a one on one, that is beauty from the setter. One apiece. Fifth set. The decider. Strange pass that from Renato. A spike from Davido. Chance for Kochi. And they will make it work. They will capitalize. Another jumper from Jibin. Chennai are looking worried. Bipul with that side set. I mean, we're talking about him coming into the game now and running it. Superb coming in off the side. And to get that to the outside or to the opposite with that height, it's a nice peak. And as soon as there's a peak, it's allowing Jibin to go to the line or to the angle. Has his range perfect. Bipul, the man of the moment. Yeah. Chennai. There's the pipe again, but they're waiting for it. Akeem says yes, please. Why feel when I am here? Says GS Akeem. That super self local for Chennai. I think Chennai needs to see more of him, not only in the defense like this, and he's pouncing. Watch his eyes looking at where the ball's coming from and diving his hands over. I think Chen, I really need him to feature a bit more in this set. It's almost like he's hacked into Erin's uh, software. He knows exactly when Erin's <laughs> going to take off. Great anticipation, perfect execution. How's that for a block? Two apiece on sets and two apiece on points. Here comes Renato. There goes Renato. The intentions are better with the aggressive serving. But you can see the body language with a miss serve, everybody's head goes down. There's a long way to go here, but you have to play with aggression if you want to have a chance. Yeah, we're going to get to see it again, but there's not really much to say about this serve. Like you said, he's going for it. Look at Akeem there, though, just not happy with the result. He's almost uh, telling himself, just keep the ball in play. I'm here to block. Don't worry about uh, them spiking. There comes Moyo. Good. By the out of system or not? Okay, there we go. Whoa! A rasping rocket from Renato! And I think it's great to feed him alongside the middle. We saw it yesterday. Trent O'Day on a wider ball in the middle to open up the opposite, hold the middle a little bit more further along because the outside isn't firing. They figured out Moyo a little bit and look how high he is. I'm questioning where Walter was going. He took a step in the opposite direction. Rama's hands were facing literally towards Renato. He telegraphed where he was going to set that. Telegraphed it, but also at the same time, he set so many balls to the outside that maybe he just took a gamble without watching. Well, this is how you park your Ferrari. Red speed in the right spot. Fantastic precision from Rohit. This is the second time he's done it. This time shows a slightly different angle, Rohit. You have to see ball to the outside. The nose at the middle is a little bit stretched getting out. Doesn't want to go to the line. And it opens up beautifully back past the block. 
there's one team playing with confidence here and it's going to get them over the line if it continues the same way. Even Akin couldn't stop it. Great set that was uh, for Rohit as well, made it much easier. He's the man to serve now. Coach, you have a one-point lead. Not a bad serve at all. Here comes Akin. No, there's Moyo. Navin Rana Jacob, correction. You keep it in play. A nervous rally building up. Naveen Raja Jacob will get the scores to level now. What was working for them so well in the earlier sets was running the ball to the outside, tipping over or off the block. Harry Lau has fixed it. They got a tip cover over the top of the block. They're prepared for it. As soon as they choose to go down another avenue, test another player, they get the rub of the green. They have to keep burying up their plays. They can't just keep doing the same thing. A good effort by Walter. I like him getting over the net like that, leaving just maybe a little bit of space in between his arms for the ball to go through. Akeem coming out now. Interesting change. Tired. Is that going to cost them Chennai? I wonder why they do that. Maybe perhaps trying to give Akeem a bit of a breather to see. This is a bit of a gamble, is it or not? Well, we talked about Akeem's attitude, and I wonder if that has something to do with it. Bolichin making some decisions based on personality on the court, perhaps. Here we go. Ah, not in a position to spike at all. Made an absolute mess of it. It wasn't a great pass. Not a great set either. And there was no chance of spiking it for Sitaram. Well, that's a great call from you. Bring him out just because he's seeing what we see. Dynamic in the team. At this moment in time, you need to keep pushing. You need to keep everybody together and have a look. They've got the rub of the green this time. That's because the setting is way too wide. That's uh, maybe the first setting mistake we've seen for a while from people. But then the response, like you said, that everyone coming together and fighting, that is really, really crucial in this fifth set. Chennai in the lead by only one point. Eyeball toss and low on execution. These young players, nervous, slightly nervous. I would rather see that than a ball that just floats over the net and it's comfortable for the, for the passing. And if you saw how much you put yourselves under pressure, Rama's just come in, it's, it's a lot to ask him to go and serve a super servant this time. But the intentions are there, and as you can see, Bernardo is in there saying, hey, no worries, we got this. Yeah, it's more like it believes and half the job is done. Renato has been an absolute leopard on court today. So has Moyo. Oh, have a look at that. What a move, just tireless. They keep coming at Kochi. They keep asking questions. Will the answer be a win? Sita with some reactions there. I like that out of him. That ball came over so fast, he took a one step back and got aggressive with it. We're getting a lesson here from Chennai that if you can stay aggressive and patient over time, things might just come back your way. Look how much it means to him. Another sub on Chennai's side. Will it make a difference? Well, to my eyes, that must be a backcourt setter. Here, your jaw has dropped there. considered a backcourt attack. 7-5 in the fifth and final set, two apiece. It's been an up and down battle. Here come Kochi from zone four. Well done by Arama, the leader of uh, the Chennai Blitz. Boom. Didn't quite work. Here comes Aaron. the block was there. Chennai claiming the point and will get it. This is fantastic defensive work from Chennai. First credit to the man in the blue there, the Libero. He was the one who kept Chennai in this point. We talk about Volatin being a master coach. We're seeing it here. Good substitutions. They've started to give the ball more to the right side where they were just feeding the left side way too much. And in turn, it's coming back. No block on that one. Four touches have been given. And with that, Chennai have got themselves a three-point lead here in Bengaluru. Well, they're united once more, but can Chennai go the whole way in set five? And we'll call technical timeout for the action.
promise to a thriller every night and uh, we promise uh, to encourage you to become a part of this party as well. What you've got to do is download this app, A23 Fantasy, and uh, select a team with uh, a Libro outside hitter opposite. You know the rules. Join the party. Lots of guests. Kishore Kumar there. One of the coaches. Alongside him is uh, Mr. Josh Thomas. Sorry, he's enjoying it. Third toss has to go to the other side. Bizarre point that. Both teams claiming points. Can I have it? That's a huge, huge point in the context of this one. I'm unsure whether Coach actually want to take a review here or not. Three blockers trying to take away all the angles. There's no touch. It's a big deflection off the net band. And surely now, this has been an emotional roller coaster one way and then. Oh, and a strong serve followed up by Chennai. Free ball coming from Kochi. Chance on the outside, blocked, covered. Chance again. Off the hands and out of bounds. Chennai pick up another point towards the finish line. Hey, I'm really interested. Now we've seen every single team in this competition. How do you think these two ranks going forward? Man, oh man. Well, these were the two lowest ranked teams last season, but I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. Big moves out of all of these players, and they've got some names that I'm impressed to see this whole season. Last season, Chennai won two games. One of them was against Kochi. Not too sure if anything they did last year counts, but this time, they look better prepared. They've come up with better resources this time. The one thing that worries me about tonight, I think their best is, is championship quality. The problem they have is that we've also seen their worst leaking as well. So if they can raise that worst level a little bit higher, they're going to have a real chance. The issue is, is the consistency of keeping that level. They have more hitters on both wings. Yes, in the second set, we saw them commit a lot of errors. That man's not committing any error with his... Uh, with his footwork, there he is, Mr. John Thomas. Arjun Awadi, 1998. Clear who he's rooting for. French Open champion, Mr. George Thomas, 1998. Badminton 10-5 the score. Koshi looking for another dramatic comeback. That will help. Well done, Jimin. So much clarity in that fight. You need your right siders. They're in the team to score points. In big moments, the ball's off the net. Once they get a season earlier, the left don't get round the ball to get it to the outside. It's always going right side. And Jibin stays high. Bipul, though, getting a one on one. Again, we've got to give credit to him. He's got that middle, holding the middle. He's opening up a lot of space there on the right. Moyo, oh, great ball in. Blocked. Another point for Kochi, a net touch called by Chennai. Do we have a game on our hands again? We do, but the inconsistency creeping in from both teams is problematic because a moment ago, the island perfect. The pass is great. The middle just jumping a little bit too close to the net, a little bit more space away from the hitter, a little bit further off the net, then you have the room to operate. Look at Moyo, though. Every single time someone's attacking on his team, he's getting low in defense. He's giving his chance a recycle ball. His team a chance to recycle the ball. Leader of this team, Moyo. Absolute leader. And look at him. He's right in the middle, listening to everything that Olichin is saying. So we're 7 10. Kochi, is this the moment to call a super point? Coach Louis Lett, what would you do? I, I would call it now because. You've got Chennai under the pump. You don't need them to get one more in front than they already are. The thing is, we know how good Chennai have been, but we also know they can leave points quick. Got to look at Mr. Thomas Mutud, the, the owner of uh, the Kochi Blue Strikers. Very calm man, very highly respected in this part of the world. One of the corporate giants, absolutely loves volleyball. He's not going to like that. Chennai each closer. Four point lead, four points away from finishing their first win in uh, T20 
decent tool. That's Pop Benu with a great defensive effort, not converted by his team. Well, chance. This is a huge chance. They're in system. The approach wasn't perfect. The set's too tight. But when the set's tight, that's the time to look for the blocker's hands. Come on now. Call for a super point. Coach, you've got to go all in. This is your time. Got to go for it. That's a great set on the outside. Moyo, he's looking for the hand. He's going with the right move. It's a little unlucky, so we're going to see some changes now on Coach's side. Havan gets uh, a few seconds of game time, I'd like to think. Then it's coming in. Right, so Kochi serving, which means if the pass is all right, Chenna will get a chance to spike first. And Nanana gives the Chenna Blitz a memorable start. They're up to the way, the Chenna Blitz. They are now on the points table. What a win in this five set thriller. The fellows in yellow, the yellow brigade prevail over the blues from Kochi. The Spikers will wonder what hit them. What a win and what a way to start your campaign. I think that man there, instrumental, Wallachin will be relieved because there was a poor set four. And that's what he'll have to work on, is how can they avoid the dips? But their best level's very high. And with that man there, changing the tactics, making the right substitution at the right time, it was a very successful evening and the dominoes are going in their favour. Yeah, the Chennai is sad spikers tonight. I'm going to be a bit sad too because I had my money on them, but we'll have a look at how this last point ended. And look, we talk about the serve so often, but in that moment, match is on the line. You've got to force Chennai to earn that last point. Instead, just gives it away and the celebrations will begin. Chennai much more successful in that last point. It was a roller coaster. They were up and down and up and down, but eventually stamping their authority in that last set. Absolutely, the celebrations have begun. Chennai take their first win here in Bengaluru. And there's the confirmation of the score. 15-9 in the fifth. We'll be back very shortly.